I've never particularly been asked to do transformations, but you know, you just go, you just get it in your head, and you just go, I need to. That's that's what I need to do. For about three months, we trained in Boston, uh, and it was uh, a couple hours a day, and it was it was brutal. Uh, the tricky part was eating. You have to eat lots. Just eating everything all the time. Oh, that sounds you know? awful. See, you think it sounds <laughs> nice, but it's not just like cheeseburgers. I mean, you have to eat like these. Just bland, naked pieces of chicken and rice, and it's 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 not that appetizing. Right. And you're just so full. It's 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 a pretty uncomfortable yeah. feeling. Eating is the key. Seventy percent is eating. It's about four thousand calories a day. Uh, maybe four and a half as I'm bulking up, and then it gets drops down as I'm leaning up. It drops down to about three, three and a half thousand calories. Um, not the fun calories. This is the chicken, fish, maybe steak. Always protein, six times a day. Protein, steamed vegetables, and occasionally some brown rice or something like that. Uh, protein shakes, and just like that. No alcohol, no sugar, pretty, no pretty much nothing that's fun. Okay, did you start to psychologically lose it? What you eat is what you is. Believe it or not, the hardest part was physically eating that amount of food. I had to put on about 17 pounds. It was crazy. I mean, aside from the training, which, which was Literally, it was it consumed my life for a while. Um, very intense, a lot of a lot of heavy lifting. I want to get into that. It's boring. The hardest right. part was eating. You know, it, you just have to eat a ton, a ton of calories, and it was all hard, hard calories. It was a lot of chicken breast. Uh, it, we, I was eating so much chicken breast that the hardest part about it was actually chewing it all. So I would just put it into a blender, blend it all up, and just drink chicken. Isn't that gross? What's your uh, what's your diet like? You said you're eating chicken, but what specifically like what, like if you get up at three in the morning, what are you eating? Egg whites, Ezekiel bread, almond butter, and then I'll work out. Then I'll have yogurt and a Greek yogurt and a shake, and then I'll have I'll be, have a chicken cooking. Then I'll eat a rotisserie chicken. Then I'll eat turkey burgers. Then I'll eat a fish. I eat probably seven or eight meals a day every two and a half hours. Because when you go on the diet as Superman, what does Superman eat? He eats a lot of things. <laughs> well, name one. Uh, I mean, okay, it depends. If I'm mass building, then I'll I'll eat burgers and stuff. Mass but, building. Yeah. See, that's if where I'm doing we, my mass we're different. Game. We're different people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is fantastic. <laughs> mass building. That's what they call it. Yeah. Yeah. So that you're just trying to get your arms bigger. So yeah, exactly. Your chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Um, but then when you. <laughs> it's it, transforming yourself is really not hard. Uh, it's just. You just, it requires consistency and dedication, and, and you have to be willing to sacrifice the things that you want. You have to trade things that are fun, like alcohol consumption, uh, you know, f meals at restaurants, things like that, for, you know, long, arduous periods of time exercising and physically exhausting and yeah. grueling work. It's, you know, anyone is, I'm, I was capable of doing it. I think anybody could do it if they wanted to. But uh, unless you had to, I don't see why you yeah. want to. Your fans are saying Chris Pratt eats no fat. Is that true? <laughs> no, I eat, I eat plenty of fat. I eat plenty of fat. Yes. Chris Pratt eats no sugar. That uh, is. Who likes routine and discipline, weirdly? I train by myself, actually. Wow. And, and okay. that's, not, that's not a pride thing. It's just, I just prefer it. I just like it more. I, 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 I worked with a, a trainer named Don Saladino in New York who gave me a plan. And then I, I just do that plan on my own. And then the yeah. diet? Yeah, I do that. I, I've done it enough that I know how to do it. Yeah, oh, okay, so, okay. Yeah. The workout was probably more difficult than the actual filming. It was, uh, my body doesn't sit naturally at that, that weight, you know, so I was consuming uh, many, many calories and you know, protein, you know, being the, the main one, uh, and working out six, seven days. What do you do for cardio? No cardio? Uh, no, I run. That's a savory answer. Yeah. So what is the real answer? You... I think they get it. Oh. I think it's a very long and complicated process with uh, a lot of knowledge required to achieve the thing. Um, that's why we have our trainers who do all that and just tell us what to do and tell us what to eat. I would say as far as a tip of the person who's being trained is when it starts to hurt badly and you want to quit, that's really when you shouldn't quit. Yeah, I think that's, I mean, it's just about, you know, the discipline of continuing to do something that you don't want to do and forcing yourself to show up and keep exercising. I mean, it's kind of that simple, you know, it's uh, it's not that, it's not pleasant. It's, you know, you, you feel like you don't want to you do it anymore and that's when you have to keep going. Uh, I wake up at three, I go down to the kitchen, I make uh, egg whites, Ezekiel bread, almond butter with a little avocado. Every morning? Every morning. I go downstairs, I work out for about an hour. 
uh, with my buddy Jonathan. I come up, I have a shake, and then I have, I make a salad and my food to go for the morning. And then I have turkey burgers and sweet potato. And then I go to the golf course at six o'clock. I play till eight o'clock. Then I rush home to meet my, my wife after she drops off the kids. We have our little alone time. And then I do whatever else I gotta do. Wow. And then I'm in bed by seven and my I wife thinks I'm an old boring. So you go to, that was, my question was, what time do you go to bed if you get up at three? You go to bed seven. at seven I gotta every get night? eight hours, yes. So every day you eat that cleanly? Yes. And that's what you, so you don't have a chef, you do all your cooking yourself? Uh, we have somebody cooks during the week for the kids and they'll make me a little piece of fish or something mm -hmm. at night, but he makes dinner. Wow, you, you were really disciplined. And also, I, I, I had to eat like a ton of food. So I had, there were sort of these prepackaged meals from this company called Zen Foods uh -huh. in LA and they just, Put like six thousand calories into containers, and we just six, eat it to me all day. Did you say six thousand calories? Up to six thousand calories a day. A day. I remember the first day. I, I was in pretty good shape when I came into this movie. I was skinnier, but I was in good shape. Right. And I thought, oh, you know, I know what I'm doing here. Um, he wanted to make sure that I left my ego at the door. So one of our first days of training, he was like, all right, two hundred pull-ups, two hundred push-ups, and you're done. And then he just walked out. And I was left there to do 200 pull-ups. How can you feel like a million bucks when you're in shape, when you're always exhausted? Like, you're, when you're always working out, you never feel what it's like to be, you know, fully strong. I just always feel like, whoa, God, my chest feels like somebody, like, drove a truck over it. You know, so, what's the point? I don't know. Now, for the stunt work, you have to be in top shape. Mm -hmm. And you are looking fine in this film. Thank you. So what kind of, what do you do to stay in shape? I work out pretty much every day. I've tried to change the, the routine. I'm always looking for new bodybuilding routines, and, and, and I have. So now I've got it down to like an hour a day, five times a week. But mostly it's all diet. What you eat is what you is. So I take it you're not ordering pizzas for room service? How'd you know? <laughs> but you are, right? I, I caught you already. I knew it. Now, um, if you eat great, really great, uh, Monday to Friday, from Saturday to Sunday, you can turn into the biggest hog in the universe, and you won't gain an ounce, and you let and you get it all out of your system. So all you have to do is be good for like four and a half days during the week. I really wanted to look the part. I was just like ten meals a day plus the weight gainer and all this stuff. It was uh, it was fun for like two weeks because the first movie I did, I had to really kind of get thin. But after that, it was like, I know more. So wait a minute, so what was the one food that you got totally tired of eating? Chicken. You... <laughs> chicken, loads of chicken, pounds and pounds. I would eat at least two rotisserie chickens a day myself. This is you, this is obviously you with your shirt off. Now, how long, again, I don't know what you look like beforehand, but like, how long did it take to be that? To get to that stage, yeah. it took um, five months of pre-production training, and that was about four months into shooting. Yeah, so nine months. For Wolverine, did you do three hours a day? Three. Three hours a day. So two hours in the morning and about 45 minutes in the afternoon. Okay. And what yeah. were you eating? It's very time consuming. What do you, is this where you get to eat everything? You have to eat 6,000 yeah. calories a day? Yes. I read that in Hollywood yes. Reporter. Yes. This is the, I, I literally rang Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. I okay. I said, man, I've seen you in some movies. I said, what's going on? What do, what do I do? And he's, he went through the diet and it was 6,000 calories, eating every two hours, Would which basically, like this, unfortunately, right? no. No, you're not eating <laughs> that. You're It'd not... be easy to get 6,000 of these. <laughs> yes, yeah. That's one nachos and a pizza, yeah. <laughs> but no, it's, a meal would look like two chicken breasts, steamed broccoli, so it's still beans, lean stuff. and maybe some carbs. A lot of training, it was a few months, and I, I'm used to doing it now, but, yeah. but there is that element at the beginning where you actually do have to put down the Cheetos <laughs> and the cheeseburgers, and you go, oh, here we go. But it's great. I don't know what kind of shape I would be in if I wasn't an actor because I put <laughs> these things in front of me and whether it's learning to surf or learning to fight or getting your body in trim, it's it's a great thing to dangle in front of you. Yeah, it is. But then like once the shoot is over, do you slack off Crash. and just terrible? The worst. the worst. And every time I say, I'm not going to do it, I'm going to stay fit, I'm going to stay <laughs> trim, and it go with, normally within two or three weeks. But if somebody so. asked you to spot them, it's really easy. So, hey, dude, can you come and spot me? Mm -hmm. The answer is very easy, um, and it's great gym etiquette. You can be comfortable with telling them, say, no, go fuck yourself. I will remember. <laughs> the next. Do you try and gain a little weight between films? I try to do it, believe it or not. I, I overdo it on the weekends. During the week, it's almost all protein, and by the Friday night, I'm ravenous. And then I'll bulk up, and then by Monday, I'm back on the machine. That way, my body at least is appeased a little bit but never bulk up for all of it. I did it once in fist and I've never had a more difficult time in my life. Oof. Taking it off? Oh, boy. How many calories, calories a day are you taking? Sometimes I'll be down to 1,100. Yeah, I'll be down to 1,100. And, and then on the weekend, I could be up to like 9,000. 
I mean, we're talking tons of French toast. We're talking about peanut butter in my hair. You know, I was like, yeah. Uh, there you go. The very first movie, I had no idea. I was basically a skinny guy. I was doing Oklahoma here in London. I got the part. I went. I, and I had three weeks, and I was like, oh, cool, three weeks, I'll be able to turn yeah. into Wolverine. <laughs> Literally, they had to shoot. If you watch X-Men 1, the very first scene I shot is me coming down the in the mansion downstairs, down that blue hallway, yeah. running down with my shirt off, and he, they yeah. had to shoot around me because it's just really not good. <laughs> yeah. And so they, they shot the very first scene at the very end four months later because right. it took me that long. Yeah. So for this one, I rang Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, and I because wow, really? I, I had to do Les Mis, and I lost some weight for that, and I said, what do I have to do? And he said, you've got to have minimum six months. <gasps> and I actually, wow. I really had some time before Les Mis, so I started the training probably a year, a year out, but so I eat 6,000 calories a day. I train for about yeah. three hours a day oh, in the gym. Yeah. Every day, every day. Mm, I train off. every day, but yeah. uh, I don't do weights every day. I okay. do weights like five days oh, a week. Right. So it's not just free weights. You, you'll, you'll do machine workouts as well, do you? No, pretty much free weights. Free, free weights, weights all the way. Right. Yeah, uh, the free yeah. weights are much better to stay injury free. Right. Yeah. I, I, I seem to get injuries more when I'm on the machines, but you know, right. the key things are like deadlifts and squats and, yeah. uh, you know, obviously bench press and yeah. one-arm rows, military press, things like wow. that. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You're on, like, some crazy diet right now, I heard, because of this yeah. movie that you're shooting. A couple of small salads, a couple of small pieces of protein, and uh, that's kind of it, and you go to bed hungry, and you, then you have a, a fasting period of, like, 15 hours. Like, you stop eating completely, and then you have little meals through the day. You should be skinny for the next Thor movie. Like a really, <laughs> like a really like scrawny and starved Thor. I should, you know, <laughs> a, 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 a character piece, wouldn't it? It'd be, hey, speaking it'd be of depressed that, and, you know. Talk about two very important co-stars, okay. your biceps. They make, <laughs> <laughs> they make an appearance. <laughs> what is- All right, That was good, that was funny, that was good. <laughs> Every time you're about to shoot, are you just like pumping before before you roll? Uh, that day we were. You know, I'm not gonna pretend I wasn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the the day we did the helicopter thing, you know, yeah. you're in a t-shirt, you know you wanna look good. I'm not gonna try and pretend that I just walk around like that. Yeah, you, 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 you prepare. Is there a lot of pressure to keep up? Yeah, the answer is yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, you wanna make sure you look the role and you wanna make sure that, you know, it's tough reading those comic books because in the comic books he's like 6'4", 240 or something. He's a, a huge animal. Um, I'm nowhere near that, so you know you want to make sure that you do your best to at least get close to to the the idea that some of these comic book fans have in their head. You look really good. I put forty back on after that. Yeah, forty back on, really. You look forty back on. Good. So that's uh, that's back to normal then. <laughs> no, I've got another it? about eight to go. Did it did it as healthy a way as possible. I mean, I, I met with two nutritionists first, so I found out how I could lose three and a half pounds a week. So I gave myself whatever that is, three four months. And I had I ate meals. I just ate small meals. Um, like what? What did you eat? Five ounces of fish, a couple of vegetables, um, a little something else uh, three times a day. And I also had my red wine at night. I started off exercising really hard, you know, going for two-hour runs, burning lots of calories. And then I injured my ankle, so I couldn't do it for about 10 days. But I stayed on the diet, and I lost just as much weight. And I said, well, forget that. I'm not exercising yeah. anymore. <laughs> The workout was a lot of a lot of work. I had a great trainer, a guy named Walter Norton, and and he, um, you know, he just it, it was about showing up every day. Really, that's the thing. And sometimes I had to do it like, you know, early in the mornings or whatever, you know, before because I was working on another movie. I was doing Gone Girl before I I did this, and so I'd be shooting that movie and then have to work out and you know get ready in the mornings before Gone Girl. So it's just about like getting out of bed in the morning, being willing to do it even when you hate it, you know? And I would have totally given up if I didn't know that, you know, I had to be on camera so I couldn't cheat. I had to like get up there and do it. Otherwise, you know, it would be, you know, you, you gotta be, audiences expect you to look like a superhero now. You know, obviously you wanna look, you know. Pump the guns. wanna look big. <laughs> so every time they yelled cut, I'd run off set and they brought some weights on the set for me. So every time we, we had a break in filming, I would run off and just start lifting weights. Uh, but as a result, you know, you're working out pretty much the entire day for, for multiple days. So by the end of the sequence, I was exhausted. I think the number one thing that a lot of people, for whatever reason, become adverse to, carbs are your friend. I like the way you think. Come on. Carbs are good carbs. It was torture. I'm not, anybody, I'm not in shape. You know what I mean? I'm not in good shape and I, I hate to exercise. But I knew that if I didn't get it together, um, the movie wouldn't work. I wouldn't seem tough or intimidating or like a professional athlete or a guy who was a drug addict and had taken all that energy and, and you know, put it into uh, working out. So 
you know, and to me it started to become a measure of like how hard am I working on this movie? How much am I willing to give? And it was an external manifestation of that. So I worked out. I worked out like crazy. I'm actually okay. I, 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 at first I was really uh, like, you know, I felt like throwing up every time and I felt incredibly lazy and I hated doing it. And, but like anything, the beginning of it's the hardest, like the first day is the hardest, second day is the second hardest. And once you get going, it actually established for me like a kind of a discipline where if I, if I did that, if I worked out, and I, I would tend to you know, get other stuff accomplished like that I needed to get, to get done. And so it helped me focus for the movie. Well, I, I end up training twice a day because I had five months and I thought, how do I expand five months into longer? You train twice a day, then it's 10 months, you know? And then that's 10 months of learning in five months. And so I just, I just trained and trained and trained. And obviously, in order to learn more, once you start to learn more, you need your body to be in a place where you can continue to do it. It's an all year thing. I probably spent 18 months doing it, really. Um, and <laughs> we, we wrapped the film. And I went straight back into training. Deb was like, you're obsessed. You've finished the film. And I said, yeah, but I might, might need to do it again, Deb. And she says, no, you're obsessed. I, ha I finally had to give up that idea that you can do it all in an hour, hour and a quarter a day. And you can't. So eating is the key. 70% is eating. Uh, that's a good way to do it. But for me, I just lose too much size doing CrossFit. So I have to I do two hours in the morning, an hour of cardio hour of weights and then I do a weights cardio mix in the afternoon. More like yeah. a crossfit in the afternoon. Yeah. But I have to do some heavy weights. And all the things you don't want to do. Like the rowing machine, like yeah. the front squats, like the deadlifting, all that stuff. What was your diet like to get into the shape that you got in for Batman? It was like a lot of protein and not a lot of carbs, but just you know eating like four or five times a day and um, you know, you have to keep your calories up to build muscle. That was the hardest part. You just like, get sick of food and you don't want to eat any more like orange roughy, you know, or, or white fish or chicken. And uh, But you have to sort of keep a steady diet of that and then just lifting weights, you know, for a couple hours a day and uh, it gets old, it gets old. <laughs> like literally, you know, brown rice, grilled chicken, broccoli, a gallon and a half of water a day mm -hmm. and working out two to three times a day, six days a week for about a year and a half, and wow. then your body will change. It, wow. It will, it, will, it will definitely change. Four o'clock in the morning, I wake up, have my caffeine. Four o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning. Then by 4.30, 4.45, I'm doing some sort of cardio. Uh, I do this, and then I'll have breakfast, and then I will go do all my strength and conditioning training at a gym for about an hour, and then I'll go to set. Uh, between cardio, strength, and resistance training, stretching, maybe about an hour and 45 minutes. Okay. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. I but was... it's not all at one shot. Well, I think it, the structure of the diet all starts with whatever the goal is. The diet is structured and it is a, it's probably somewhere between five and 7,000 calories a day that's wow. very balanced of carbohydrates and fats and proteins and greens and things like that. But when you're on the set 12, 14 plus hours a day, how are you able to then sleep and then also make time for the gym? This is what happens. Okay. You get yourself as big as you can, and then as you're shooting, <laughs> you slowly get smaller. It's just what happens. Uh, throughout the movie, you just slowly lose your mass. So you need to come to set as big as you can possibly get yourself in anticipation of exhaustion. I, I <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I think after eight weeks, and I could have got in pretty good shape, but after seven months, that's how you get like, like I, I did eventually, because you just keep stepping over little barriers where you think, okay, I, I would honestly think, right, I can't get it. This, this is great. And then the next minute you'd be like, oh wow, I've, I've surpassed that. And, and, and then you're enjoying it, because you know, I'll never be like this again. <laughs> so you think, well, how much more can I push it? And, and that was the, the, the spark, the element, it was the, the mind conditioning as well. Training for me has become very defining. It's become part of my life, lifestyle. It's defined me in many ways. When I was 14 years old, I started training, and I thought to myself, if I can, I want to be successful in the way I, I know how to be successful, I think, are the men I admire. And those men in my life were pro wrestlers who were my uncles and my dad, and then they were also Arnold Schwarzenegger and Stallone. Who were your favorite wrestlers when you were a kid? My dad. Uh, Rocky Johnson, my uncle Jimmy Superfly Snuka, the Wild Samoans. Snuka was uncle. your uncle? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. So these men were wow. like big men who always trained and got things done with their hands. So. Well, basically train for three hours a day and eat uh, a, lot of protein. A, a lot of food. And I actually got the diet from uh, Dwayne, the Rock Johnson, who's a mate of mine. And 
Every day what I do is I eat for eight hours and I fast for 16. And so from about 10 in the morning till six, for this I eat way too much and then nothing after that. All right, Dwayne, what was your training like for this film? What was your routine? <clears throat> uh, my routine for this film was training six times a, a week. George Farah and many people who go on bodybuilding.com know who my strength and conditioning coach is. I also have a training coach in Dave Rienzi, who, and we put together, this, this was a, a hell of a prep for a movie like this where it, it revolves around the world of bodybuilding and that culture of bodybuilding that we love, by the way, that we grew up on. So the prep was a good, I don't know, eight to 10 weeks, six times, six times, a, uh, six times a week training twice, do my cardio in the morning. Oh God, well once I signed on to do in the movie, I was like, I was, I was committed to getting as big as possible. Uh, and that just meant going back to doing what I used to do when I was really young, lifting as heavy as possible, and eating 10 to 12 meals a day. And you know, I drink two or three mass gainer shakes a day, and uh, my calorie intake was, was, was pretty damn high. <laughs> and my gas was horrible. He did call me and say, well, you know, how, how do you look? right now, you know, like, how, how am I gonna seriously be able to suggest to Warner Brothers that you could play Batman ever if, uh, you know, you're that skinny? Hey, perfect fit. <laughs> he then proceeded to put on a lot of weight um, in muscle terms and really try and bulk up because I had impressed upon him the, uh, the idea that for, for Bruce Wayne to really fill that suit, he was gonna have to be very, very large. I was just stuffing my face all day long and lifting heavy weights and eating more and uh, and eventually went, went uh, up to like 220 pounds. I just listened to what he said about get as big as you possibly can. So that's what I did, you know? That's the problem is people wanna know what the secret is. The secret is you can't do it in a month. Thank you, I it, like that It though. takes eight months, and or a year, or a lifetime, to of consistency, working out every single day, and eating properly, and, f and truly feeding yourself, not starving yourself, but giving yourself proper nutrition to heal. You have to burn off all the crap you've put in your body, and then you have to replace it with really good food and fuel. And it takes a long time, but really eight months is not that long. I mean, what were you doing in May, right? That, I, yeah, that exactly, was that was ago. yesterday, right? And when you're looking back, eight months goes by really quickly. When you're looking forward, it seems like a lot, it's crazy, it's a long prospect. Even eight hours seems can be a long right. time. But it just takes a little bit of consistency and time is gonna go by just as fast whether you're doing it or not. So who do you wanna be eight months from now? You wanna, be in, that. You wanna be in good shape, then get on it today.